Saru Sangha, Saru Sangha, Sarva Shastra Hoy, Lava Matra, Saru Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoy. That's the good thing about this age. Even the Brijvasi sadhus are so high on the scale. Now they're speaking English. This great Radha Raman Goswami, great, like, Vyas, descent of Vyas, Pundrik, Puja Sri Pundrik Goswamiji. Oh, it's like Vidya Sagar. He's like Ganga. And he speaks English and everything, Hindi. Very good English. He goes to Russia and all these places. So, and this young gentleman, he's speaking English. So it's great. The future is very good. It's all Krishna's creeper. Before he, you go to some sort of deal, and you, I, I don't English, that Bekar language. Sanskrit, Hindi. You don't know, tell. Because <laughs> when I came, 87, 88, I say, oh, it's not some good sadhu. I want to ask questions about my books. Oh, you go there. I go there. Maharaj, excuse me. I only know Torah, tour Hindi, Samaste. You don't know Hindi? Jao. <laughs> I, I know English. I know English. I won't speak. That's a, that's a Mleche Basha. <laughs> it's a language of the Mlechas, you know. <laughs> so I had, a, I, was, I had a hard time to find English-speaking sadhus. So Guruji, my, my teacher, uh, Sri Pandit Baba, he knows perfect English. So in 1990, we met him, and for 30 years, or whatever, 30 years, we're hearing from him. I'm sorry, Krishna sent someone who spoke English. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a little tough. So you, you know when you know you... You know when you're doing the right thing, it rings true in your heart. And you know when you're doing the wrong thing, because it pounds in your heart like a kettle drum. You, this is wrong. Dong, dong, dong. And so there's something called diplomacy. You have, when in Rome, do as the Romans. And so someone says, oh, you went to Vrindavan, you were there two weeks, what did you do? Oh, I was just, you know, I went to this con and I just visited some temples, it was nice, you know. Discretion. Because what you're, you're like gopis. Gopis are secret, you know. Gopi means goop. Goop, goop, G U P. Goop means secret, hidden, private. No one knows. Gopi. So sometimes you have to be like gopi. <laughs> gopis are married, they have husbands, and they're running out every day to be a Christian. Husbands don't know. Yoga Maya. <laughs> 